With spring approaching, Ukraine's forces had managed to hold off Russian advances through the worst of the winter months. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky said this in an interview with CBS News. We have stabilized the situation. It is better than it used to be two or three months ago when we had a big deficit of artillery ammunition, different kinds of weapons, he said, we totally didn't see the big, huge counteroffensive from Russia. They didn't have success, he said. But Zelensky acknowledged that the invading Russian troops and their seemingly endless supply of missiles and shells had destroyed some villages, according to CBS News. We didn't have rounds, artillery rounds, a lot of different things, he said, stressing that while his troops have managed to keep the Russians largely at bay up to now, they're not prepared to defend against another major Russian offensive expected in the coming months. That, he said, was expected around the end of May or in June, he said. And before that, we not only need to prepare, we not only need to stabilize the situation, because the partners are sometimes really happy that we have stabilized the situation, Zelensky said of the US and Ukraine's other backers. No, I say we need help now. He said what's needed most are American Patriot missile defense systems and more artillery. While he's grateful for the billions of dollars in U.S. support his country has already received, he said the nature of the funding dedicated by the American government to help Ukraine must be put into perspective, with lawmakers in the U.S. still wrangling after months of partisan gridlock over a $60 billion aid package. Zelensky acknowledged that the war in Gaza had refocused global attention and U.S. aid away from his country's struggle. Ukrainian troops have problems with Starlink it affects the drone war with Russia. Ukrainian frontline troops say they are experiencing connection problems with the vital Starlink internet service, according to CNN. Ukraine's self-detonating drones have been a cheap and effective weapon in the war to gather intelligence and destroy Russia's expensive military equipment. In recent weeks, Ukraine's drones have attacked Russian oil facilities and hunted down Russian ships in open sea and at naval bases. Ukraine's self-detonating drones are a staple to its arsenal. But in a series of interviews across the front lines, Ukrainian soldiers have said connection speeds have dropped in the past months and reported other connection problems. The complaints coincide with the rise in Ukrainian sightings of Russian uses of the satellite internet service run by Elon Musk's SpaceX and social media posts in which Russian crowdfunders claim to have successfully bypassed sanctions on Russian use of the devices, buying them in third countries. One communications operator in the Zaporizhia area who asked to be named Misha told CNN the issues had begun in the past three weeks. We started noticing a bad quality connection, he said. It breaks up all the time. It needs to be rebooted for it to start working properly. But soon the speed starts to decrease and the connection breaks up again. It brings rather unpleasant complications for their work, he added. Another drone operator, a commander of one of the dozens of units flying single-use attack drones at Russian targets, also in the Zaporizhia area, said his unit's issues had begun in January. Multiple Ukrainian units across the front lines told CNN they had experienced speed problems with Starlink and noted Russian use but declined to be named discussing a sensitive issue. When Russia launched its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Russia destroyed the military's traditional internet service. Kyiv reached out to Musk and asked for emergency Starlink shipments. Their impact on the battlefield was almost immediate. Ukrainian military regained access to the internet and were able to coordinate their defense and counter-attack. Russia plans targeted terror focusing on capital of Ukraine. This experience has shown that the enemy uses Zircon missiles with increased activity, indicating that the air alert will spread to the Kyiv region when ballistic missiles are used from the south, states head of the United Coordinating Press Center of Security and Defense Forces of the south of Ukraine, Natalia Humeniuk. Several dozen similar missiles are in the enemy's accumulation at military hubs like Crimea and it can continue occasional targeted terror with a focus including on the capital, Humeniuk said. She added that for the enemy, the priority remains the method of terrorist pressure and when there is a threat of ballistic weapons from the south, usually the southern and southeastern regions light up red on the alarm map. 
Natalia Humeniuk reported that the enemy continues to use ballistic missiles not only in the southern regions. According to the spokesperson, this indicates that pushed to a certain degree of desperation, it is forced to use reserve means that will lead to the so-called victory in the rear. Humaniuk also emphasized that civilian terror continues, with the enemy continuing to shell settlements along the contact line in the Kherson region and returning to the tactic of using guided aerial bombs, perhaps losing some aviation vigilance. Tactical Aviation allowed itself two strikes with six guided aerial bombs each this combat day on the right bank of the Kherson region. A cultural institution a shop and some private houses were destroyed, the official added. The fact of returning to the use of tactical aviation at this front line is a powerful signal for us. We must reorganize our defense system so that enemy aviation again fears in this direction. It should be noted that in the Solomyansky district of Kiev, a combat part of a Russian missile was seized. It fell during Russia's attack on March the 25th. During the inspection of the area, explosive technicians found a fragment of the combat part of the substance with detonators weighing over 20 kilograms near private houses. Additionally, the Air Force explained why the Russians have shortened the intervals between attacks on Ukraine. In particular, this is because the Russia is trying to find weak spots in the Ukrainian air defense system.